chase him. I hate the triangle trip so much. Hello, it's 9.30 on a Tuesday night. And I thought, hmm, what better time to start this video than now? It's the moment you've all been waiting for. You've been waiting for this for way over a year. And to be honest, so have I. Welcome to my reading vlog of The Final Gambits by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Hello, so it's currently um, 25 to 2. Last night, I started the final gambit, so I woke up early this morning, did some uni work, um, went to town. I did, basically, I've done a lot today. Oh, guys! Genuinely, genuinely, I am 70, um, 78 pages in. It's almost at the around 400 page mark. Oh my goodness, my heart. The thing is, I, right, when I went into this, I was like, all that I care about is Jameson and Grayson. And I'm not going to lie to you. Unfortunately, it got spoilt. I do know who she ends up with. And I'm really angry about it because I made a video. Oh my God, speaking of, my TikTok got banned. What? Like, my TikTok got banned. It says that I violated community guidelines. I have done no such thing. So I'm avidly trying to get it back and all the emails are saying is we can't restore it and i'm like please please i just want to talk about my books and my like book on the book community <laughs> so anyway i'll go follow my new tiktok for now or email tiktok and ask them for my account back please for me thank you anyway i made an a video on that account and i was like i think here's my opinion of what i thought i thought that jameson and avery getting together spoiler alert i mean this is the third book so you know getting together at the end of book two was too good to be true like it happened so quick which i'm not complaining because i actually love them so much but i just felt like there was i'm so used to their to a like second love interest being the main person like for example um i mean sarah day mass is the perfect person for this but even like maven and mare in red queen there's so much that like there's so many of that trope so i really thought he was going to betray her um and i thought she's gonna end up with grayson this whole thing with eve i don't like her i'm like you've come in swooped out of nowhere i feel like she's trying to replace avery i'm getting a bad vibe but then i'm like am i only getting a bad vibe because i don't know i'm just I'm, i don't know so that's where we're at jameson is still the love of my life i still love jameson i'm still team jameson all the way i have been since day one like that's one thing about me i'm a loyal girl this is like my favorite book series i think overall there's a series it's five individually it's not if that makes sense yeah i also another thing before i leave you two things i really want the american editions of these books as much as these covers are okay the american editions are just chef's kiss so i think when they all come out in paperback when the final gambit is in paperback i may treat myself to them I don't know i really want them so bad but i'm like do i need them no but I, this is my fate like i literally ordered the fairy lit exclusive editions and I, I just want every single edition of this book this man showing up in blood with the audacity to just look that good in my head 
Like, really? I love James Webb. Like, I actually can't describe to you how much I love him. I think he's... He's just so good. I love him. Oh my god. Jameson just said that he knew about what happened in the wines. <laughs> and also, I'm like, I'm so, I understand Avery completely. Like, she's literally got these two brothers pining after her. And she she's with Jameson, but like, she still loves Grayson in a way. And he's with this other girl now. And oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Max is so me. She's literally talking about her relationship with Xander. In book tropes and she's like let's just say i'm definitely reconsidering my favorite tropes same same girl evie what here's the thing right here's here's the genuine situation i'm team jameson for life but that doesn't mean that i want grayson to be with anybody else okay because i love them so much i love them. i just leaned more towards jameson but because i hate eve I don't want him, I don't want Grayson to be with Eve because I, I don't like her. I'm actually really, really sad about this. <sighs> Grayson's love interest. I didn't want it to be her. Really? I really don't trust Eve. The fact that she's asked to be left alone in like Tobias's wing. I don't like her. But I don't like her. Okay, so Eve has just said that she'd go with Grayson to go sort this thing out with Zara. And I was like, oh, Eve, like, I actually can't describe, I feel, I feel like she felt this girl has just wandered into the books and it's like, mm, I'm involved now. Like, excuse me? No, I, I, I just feel so suspicious of her. Even if I'm wrong, I don't like her as a character. I think she's just sussy. Anyway, um, and then Grayson said, no, you go with Grayson Eris. This is the problem. It's such a good love triangle because I, 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 like, I have a team. We know the team. At the same time, I'm like, I love Grayson. I and Xander makes my heart actually ache. Um, we've just found his actual dad, um, Isaiah Alexander. And I love this line. Um, so Xander asks him, he says, where is it? He's saying, um, you're saying that you wanted me. Isaiah responded, still do. I feel like I'm not changing scenery, it's simply because I'm really comfortable. However, are you ready? This is an interaction between Avery and Jameson, and I'm happy. <clears throat> I knew that Jameson loved me, and that pissed me off because our love wasn't supposed to be like this. You're not supposed to keep me, you're not supposed to keep me, you're not supposed to keep me anything. Oh, okay, you're not supposed to keep me anything. I burst out. He tried to look away, but I wouldn't let him. Ask me what I found. He didn't. Ask me, Jameson. I could see him waiting. I could see him wanting to, warring with himself. Promise me first. Promise you what? I asked. That you'll be more careful that I won't come home to find you gone again. Hello again. I should not have ended that clip because it's all kicking off. I'm not Grayson, he told me, ravished by the words. I don't want you to be, I said, pleading for what I wasn't even sure. Yes, you do. Jameson insisted quietly. And it doesn't even matter because I'm not putting on a show here, Eris. I'm not playing, being overprotective or pretending that for once in my life I want to do the right thing. I love you and I would die to protect you and I would make you hate me to keep you safe because damn it, Avery, some things are too precious to get. <gasps> he loves her. He loves her. Okay, I'm currently extremely, extremely stressed. Um, I think my suspicions about Eve are correct, which, when am I wrong? Never. And I'm actually so angry with Grayson. I'm fuming. So, thanks, Grayson. Love you the most. And I'll, I, I detest Jameson. Uh, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. I detest Grayson at the moment. Because I'm just like, what are you doing? What are you doing, honestly? Why are you choosing this random girl over Avery? She is not Emily. 
she is irrelevant and i'm just like and i feel like it's making everything harder for everybody because grayson's being so uncooperative i'm so glad i chose J like jason's been jason jason jameson has been there for her this whole time and even through these struggles where she's like battling with herself where she's like, oh my god like grayson and ah, like that he's still like it's okay like i understand and that is what we want from a man a man who knows he can do better and does i knew it eve can go to hell i knew it i'm right and i love being right about things especially with books because i'm like yeah i figured you out i know you eve and actually i'm kind of like grayson i i want a groveling apology i want you to get on your knees and say sorry to avery for being so rude when you chose eve over her and now eve is pointing a gun at avery wow grayson wanted eve to be avery all right we are getting the groveling apology that i wanted but it hurts a lot more than i expected i hate the triangle trope so much i literally hate them just in case anybody's wondering they're literally the worst thing ever not gonna lie i am kind of confused as to what's going on right now it didn't go the way i thought it was gonna go not gonna lie i don't like the fact that avery was like the whole point like the whole reason i read this was for two reasons jameson and grayson we know that but also because i wanted to know why avery why did he choose avery and i'm a little disappointed that he chose her as a decoy i hate this um i'm so tired <laughs> i have officially finished the final gambit and i'm not gonna lie it did not feel like the ending of a series i know jennifer lynn barnes is doing another book in that world but it didn't feel like the end of the trilogy it was four stars i think it was a great book the ending i like this is the thing i really i've never given any of the books five stars and i really thought this was going to be the one i was like yeah this is it this is it the final conclusion my favorite series the ending like i don't know i'm I, like i'm glad she gave everything away but like i know it's her inheritance and her money but also at the same time like i still think it's the boys like the boys should have had a i really think the boys should have had a say in that anyway i didn't ex i really did not expect it to go the way it went like in the slightest i i, I just don't know what to say because it just didn't it didn't do what i i really thought it would have done i really thought we were gonna get more on libby and nash we didn't i thought the love triangle was still gonna be ever present and it was very much i'm not complaining about this i'm just saying i thought it would be um obviously it was more towards jameson which i'll take because i love him forever really like the ending i was like is that it i was so i'm actually mad no i feel like i have the right to be mad because i have loved this series for three years and i thought i'd have a much bigger reaction to the ending and it'd be like be like when i finished um throne of glass and i sobbed my heart out i didn't get that i didn't get that uh instead i'm like is that really like he literally chose avery as a decoy are you telling me that I've waited three books to find out that actually he just chose her just in case anything went wrong she will get the blame not the boys really really wow no I'm actually disappointed I'm giving it four stars because I really love the book like, I did love the book the ending is really annoying me what was the point of Eve what was the point of her there was no point in her she was brought in for two seconds. There was an insta lovey thing going on, and that was it. It's still my all time favourite series. I just love to complain. <laughs> um, some positives of it. it. It was a good conclusion, I guess. I mean, I didn't like all the stuff that happened in it, but it was a conclusion. Um, I actually think book two is the best book and I'll tell you why because I think the love triangle is strongest in that and I think the ending of that is the most shocking um I just think with this one it seems rushed that's all um for example the chess game that we got with Blake and Avery happened like that 
overall, the series as a whole, I'd give it 4.5 stars as a whole. That's book, that's the Inheritance Games, Hawthorne Legacy and The Final Gambits. Individually, Inheritance Games and Hawthorne Legacy 4.5 stars each. This one gets a 4. The reason why this one gets a 4 is because it still is, it still had my attention. I've literally read it in a day, basically. You know, it's fine. But I just felt like this one was so rushed. And I actually, I swear, I, maybe I'm wrong, but I was under the impression that this series was a duology originally and then it got made into a trilogy i felt like the games in this were solved so quickly um compared to the other ones however i loved seeing the dynamic of the brothers more how they interacted more in this one i did feel like um, we got to see more of their relationships together um and i'm happy with who she ended up with i think it would i think it would have been more shocking for her to end up with Grayson. I think, genuinely, I do believe that would have been a better plot point. I'm happy she didn't, but I do think it would have been a better plot point. So that's it. I look haggard, I look tired, and I'm going to sleep now because I've read this book all day. It was wonderful, it was great, but I am so tired. So that is it. There are no more Inheritance Games videos. Maybe I'll record, maybe Look Brothers Hawthorne. That's what it's called, right? I don't know. I don't even know what that's about. Don't know what it's about. If you want me to see me read that, sure. The Inheritance Games is done. Um, and I still think I should get the American editions because if I like it, I buy it in every type of format. I'm going to leave you with one thing. First of all, I love you. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed it. And if you're Team Jameson, how does it feel to be right? I so for gloating. If you want to watch my Hawthorne Legacy video, I'll be in the card above or down below. But yeah. <sighs> Goodbye, guys. I love you all, and I will see you in my next video.